somebody's window. Ah, go ahead. Ooh, like a little jet. Wow. After. Well, you go ahead and put it together and then show it to me when you're done with it, okay? Time to record it like I did last year. Hello, by the way. <laughs> you can put it on you. All right, for your day number one. I'm going to give you a clue, and then you got to figure out where your little thing that used to be in the calendar over there is hiding at, okay? So the clue, are you ready? Yeah. The clue is, Rudolph is Santa's fastest flyer. Find your treat beside the washer and... Dryer! <laughs> I'm going to make it more blurry. <laughs> Look around for a treat. Yeah. <laughs> I have to open one of these. Nope. So this is your this is your first uh little treat for It's Christmas. not a treat. Look. It's a goodie. You'll get, you'll get one next year, Cece. You too little. But it's chocolate and it comes with a car in it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um that's Brabhurst. Thank you anyways. Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Vlogmas Day One. I'm so excited. So I got my uh, Vlogmas countdown thingy right here. I'm going to open it up. June is behind you in her high chair. So if you hear noises, that's what it is. But anyways, it's Christmas season. Are you excited? Because <laughs> I am. Alright, so first I have my swap from Jen. So this package right here says number one. It's got this really cute little snowflake. It's like an ornament. And then the card says, baby, it's cold outside. <laughs> So I'm going to try to get this ornament off without messing it up. <gasps> yeah. I don't think I have anything I can give you. So there's the snowflake. It's glittery. I don't know if it's showing glitter. Oh, there it goes. Glitter, glitter. <laughs> and then this other side. Take this tag off. I'll be saving that for junk journaling and stuff. I can get it untied. Alright, so there's the tag that just took off. Where did I leave that one first? Alright, so now the, the bag. <laughs> Oops, I just ripped it. <laughs> That's okay. I wasn't planning on keeping it anyways. Tissue. Okay, I see some yarn in here. And uh, some that she made. Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> Let me get it all out. I accidentally ripped the bag horribly. <laughs> So it looks like she made a cute little pillow. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. She like embroidered with yarn and beads. Oh my god. An ornament and it's 22 R for Roberts, so I'm assuming. There's a bell. No, it's not a jingle, but it looks cute. <laughs> Look at that, she stitched it. And the back has a Christmas print. That is so adorable. That is so cute. I love that. Is that right there? I don't know if you can see that. And there's also a chocolate. I got some of these for Jesse. It is a Kinder. So is it hollow or does it got that stuff in it? I don't know. Let's find out <laughs> here in a little bit. And then the yarn is two pretty Christmassy or like winter colors. They are the Red Heart Minis. Uh, it's number four worsted. Why am I having trouble finding? Okay, it's called Icicle. That's appropriate. It's different. It's three different shades of blue and white. Um, where's the art at? 72 yards each. That is so cute. So that's, that's exciting. I'm excited about that. Alright, so also she has this other package in there. And it says on it, you might want to open this bag towards the beginning of December. So I'm going to open it today. And it's also got another little, like, ornament charm on it that is a Letters to Santa post box thingy. Okay, let's see if I can open it. Okay, there's the little um ornament. It's got this pretty uh sticker on it too. It's so pretty. Okay. Ooh, goody, 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 goody. Dump it up. Okay, so there's some chocolate. Bark 
peppermint chocolate bark. I don't know, it with like a Z because Zelda loves uh, those. <laughs> that right there. And then there's these two things. So which one should I open first? This one or this one? We'll go with this one. <laughs> so it's got this really pretty Believe ribbon on it. Look how cute. I'm going to have all kinds of stuff to fit my junk journal. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. <gasps> Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is full of little trinkets and things. Okay. First, there's some Christmas colored uh, thread <laughs> rope stuff. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. I don't know what the proper name is. Okay, and then there's some cute little bows. Green and red one. And then there, this is ribbon. It says Holly Jolly and Christmas. I'll fix all this up and make it look pretty when I get done. And there's like a velvety red ribbon, piece of ribbon. And there's a piece of ribbon with candy canes and peppermints on it. And then there is a cute little jar of little seed beads, different colors. And there's also some Christmas buttons. So there's a present. A stocking with a gingerbread on it. A Santa. A snowman. A reindeer. <laughs> and a little gingerbread man. And then there's two of these little snowflakes. There's two of those. That's so cute. And the little box is adorable. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's pretty cool for day one. Hey, thank you. Oh, I'm not done. I forgot this. So the first thing is there's a paper clip up here with the little foofies. <coughs> Super cute. Take that off. And then it's got let it snow. It's like the envelope. I'm trying to open it without tearing the envelope. <laughs> junk journal stuff. I can't get it all out at once. I have to get it out in sections. <laughs> Is this a fair, how do you say that? Like little pieces of things? Okay, so there's an envelope. I'll be keeping that. Alright, so in there is some stickers. Christmas stickers. And then a bunch of like little scrap papers of Christmas prints. This little things to put in my junk journal. <laughs> that's so perfect. Do you know why that's perfect? Thank you so much, Jen, by the way, uh, for that first. The reason it's perfect is because I made a new journal for December. <laughs> I left these long on purpose. But, uh, yeah, so I, I got to clean this tape residue off or just put something over it. But this is a little golden book that I got at the thrift store. Um, and it's an 80s copy of The Night Before Christmas. I just thought it was cute because of just the little some treats and stuff. That was cute. So I made a junk journal with the book so it still has the book pages in it just kind of spread out throughout the the book see there's one of the pages and then i use christmas print paper in between and there's some christmas cards in there to journal and stuff on to decorate and so there's more of the story i only put two signatures in it most people put three but i just i only put two <laughs> most because i only had enough christmas paper to make two <laughs> but so i'm going to be working on this throughout December, I hope, if I get a chance to. <laughs> but it's just cute. And, um, there you go. I don't have all the proper stuff to make the spine the right way, so it is package tape <laughs> and paper. But, and then that, this is where I sewed the signatures in there, which is the packs of paper. And I left these long so I could put beads and charms and stuff on them. And then it would be like a dangly thing. So I just left them long on purpose, and I'll deal with that eventually. But now i got a bunch of cute little stuff that I can put in here and all the other little beady things and stuff so that's exciting but that's my little journal so thank you so much jen for all this amazing stuff for day one <laughs> and uh i also have my thing for terry from with terry from your podcast back here but i'll be starting that on friday um so i'll make a video about that on friday and then i also have my 12 days of grinchmas hot chocolates and also to go along with that Terry from Ron Joyce, she sent gifts with her um, swap thing that we're doing. 
and I opened the kids one because it got ripped open or something I don't know it somehow got opened I don't know who opened it but it got opened so I um went ahead and did that and it was ornaments like um handprint ornaments you know and then I went ahead and just opened the other ones too because you know mine might as well so this is the one that was for the whole family and it is well let me open it all the way hot chocolates <laughs> it is the Linda Lakes I think yeah Linda Lakes brand and they're all flavored different and uh, I'm the only one who likes flavored hot chocolate. Devin don't like hot chocolate hardly at all. Jesse likes regular hot chocolate. So I am going to add these. These, this are 11. With this, 12 is 23. So I have 23 different hot chocolates. I think some of them are the same, but they're different brands. So they might taste different. To do, what's the other thing from Terry? Oh yeah, it was for me. It was over here. <laughs> it's underneath all my, my fabric. That was for the whole family. This one it was specifically for me. And it is the Rudolph crochet kit. So that's cool. It's got all these characters. She made most of these. Maybe all of them. I can't remember. And these. I think she made all of them. Uh, two years ago maybe. But so she got me that too. So thank you Terry so much. And thank you Jen so much for day one. I'm looking so forward to um, doing the rest of them. <laughs> so what was I doing? Oh, yeah, my great. So I'm going to do these ones first because they're numbered. And then I'll do the Linda Lake ones after that. So today's is French vanilla. I'm going to be keeping a lot of this box, these boxes, parts on for my junk journal as well. Making tags and stuff out of them probably. Because there's cute Grinch things on them. So the first one is French vanilla. And it's got Cindy Lou and Max. And just this French vanilla hot cocoa mix. And it's just a pack of hot chocolate mix. So I'm going to make that up and I'm going to try it. I'm going to make it with milk. I don't know if it says to make it with milk or not. But it's always better with milk. It doesn't even say. Like I, I didn't know if that would like hinder the. Um... Oh yeah, it says mix one packet of cocoa mix with six ounces of hot water or milk. Stir it until dissolved and enjoy. So I'm gonna go do that and um, see what it tastes like. Uh, so I'm gonna pile this stuff up so that the kids don't get it. <laughs> but so that was Vlogmas Day One, the opening part. Now I'm gonna be inserting some clips of just the day, I guess. I got a lot of stuff to do today. I got a lot of laundry to do. I got to figure out something for dinner. <laughs> and just regular, everyday stuff. And I'm also planning on doing a little bit of sewing this evening when Devin gets up. And, um, yeah, so I'll catch up with you throughout the day, I guess. <laughs>